Starting recording. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Inside the Den of Tim's, and I'm joined here by my special guest, Detective Irish. Say hello. What's up, everyone? And uh, today, we're going to see if Jay can win him over after the last live episode where Detective lost his mind on Jay about the uh, hashtag, take the hat off, Jay. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna see. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got more to for say? For all you haters out there, I just don't like Jay because he's very biased toward Sony, and maybe this might win me over if he disses on Sony enough. We'll see um, if he does in this video. So without further delay, let's start the video. Hi. I'm JKB, and as you guys know, I like to report the positives in the video game industry. So let's talk about Sony forcing you to sign into your PSN account now on PC for Helldivers 2, or you won't be able to play the game. I, I wish I was making these things up. Before I get into the news, yes, I'm live right now. If you're seeing this video, I'm probably live, and I'm going to be live all day. Come check out the live stream. I'm sure you're not prepared for what you're going to see over there. It's... Out of hand. Also, I will admit else. this. Uh, Microsoft does the same thing when it comes to Xbox games. Oh my lord! Because for PC, like if you have a PC, you have to sign into your Microsoft account or create one. So as soon as you do, everything's leaked, uh, linked together. That is very much so true. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't really care much for Microsoft or Sony because you know, you got to make so many accounts that is just it's unreasonable to me. I don't like these companies are just making hand over fist on selling your data, and like and the customer is barely getting anything in the way as far as um, material wise. Well, it just it just kind of reminds me of Apple where like. As soon as I sign into my Microsoft account, everything is right there for me. Well, to be fair with Apple, at least as Apple doesn't sell your data to everybody as advertising, only to certain well, advertisers. Apple actually does sell your data. Oh, I know it. they do. That's been shown to be proven. I'm not denying that. What I'm saying is there is a select group that they sell it to. It's not like Microsoft where it sells to all these third-party companies that recently have just been found to be uh, dishing out a lot of adware and malware, even potentially ransomware through news, no. quote-unquote sponsored newsletters. I apologize for hitting the mic. Oh, by the uh, way, in case you guys are wondering, this is a new episode of Epic or Trash, and we're reviewing JKB's Sony four? is forced. Oh, yeah, this will be episode four. And we're reviewing Sony's is forcing all PC Helldivers 2 players that are on Steam to get a PSN account. Yeah. Sponsored by Mr. Pib. Not actually sponsored by Mr. Pib. I wish it was. <laughs> As of this time where I do have a PSN account because of days gone. Um freaking Spider Man and um Returnal. Yeah, to be fair, I've also got a PSN account. I've also got a Microsoft account. I've also obviously got a Google. I've got Microsoft. I've got just about anybody you can think of. Because of all the different stuff that I do on the different platforms. Also, as a little side note, make sure you're following me everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and the Den of Tim's. And uh, join the Patreon if you like content like this. So let's give you guys a reason why you should like the content by continuing on with this video. I appreciate the support yeah. of this channel. Now, let's get back to Sony screwing over Helldiver 2 players on PC. If you haven't played Helldivers 2 yet on PC or PlayStation 5, it's kind of a big deal for Sony. And the big deal is that it was a game that was released on PlayStation 5 day one, but also on PC. Now, there was a requirement at the beginning of its life cycle to sign into your PlayStation account to be able to play the game on PC. However, the game was so popular and the numbers were so large. I don't know, I just touched my breasts when I said large. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God, here we go again with that. I, swear to I, I just thought that was funny. Where he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I touched <laughs> my like breast again like I always do. Himself. 
He's just randomly groping himself like that. It's so weird. I don't I don't understand what's up. What's up with him and Rich and the other people just like randomly groping uh, themselves? Well, at least he's not doing the um the dick motion when people like give speeches or gives like a rant, it looks like they're jerking off a dick in front of their mouth. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my. Let's continue. Maybe I got a weird fetish. Anyways, forget about the breasts. Arrowhead, the company he that makes Helldivers 2, went Good onto God, Twitter when the game launched and said, listen, we can't support this yet. We didn't know this many people would play. Don't buy the game until the servers are fixed. And the company that made the game, Arrowhead, got a lot of goodwill because of these gestures on Twitter and online. And let's just be honest here, the marketing for this game has been brilliant. I haven't seen really anything negative about the game being said past the launch date. You know, other than the servers having issues, Which they fixed I will all say, those issues. Arrowhead did really fucking good by saying, hey, you know what? Don't buy our game. Just not yet. Don't buy it. I bought it on uh, pre-order like the day before launch. And I am kind of pissed at Steam because we can no longer do pre-downloads. Yeah, um, what's funny is I don't really use Steam, so forgive me for my ignorance about it. No, like I've been seeing a lot of stuff. I remember, I, excuse me, I remember when uh, there I was watching videos about it from Mudahard and Eight Big Eric. Shout out to Eight Big Eric, friend of the channel. Uh, yeah, Eight Big. Hey Eric, uh, or eight inch Eric. <laughs> oh yeah, don't hashtag dig pick again. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I remembered watching a lot of stuff about that and seeing how like they, the company was saying, "Stop buying the game, stop buying the game. We we don't have the capacity to handle the players." And I went, I actually respect them because a lot of other companies would have been like, "Well, sucks to be you." Or, uh, sorry, but we're going to have an update soon, which is like three weeks later, maybe a month later, before they actually fix it. Which I think is how long it took Helldivers to actually get everything set up, if I remember correctly. I could um, be wrong. Yeah, because uh, they, they didn't realize that their three servers running the game would not take off that bad. Which, by the way, they should have saw it coming when PAL World came out. Oh, that is true, because Power, Power World, World had the same issue. Yeah, Power World was facing the same problem. Because I remember, again, I like I remember Muda Hard was bitching about both of them going about, like, I can't play the game. I have to wait for people to get off just so yeah. I can play it. He's like, I want to play well, this the game. Problem, <laughs> well, the big problem with the gaming industry right now is everyone hates AAA gaming because of, you know, Sweet Baby Inc., or uh, just gaming companies changing their entire franchise to uh, make a new audience. Well, that is true. And not to mention you've got like a, a lot of gaming marketers and head developers who are like telling people, well, it sucks to be you. Uh, how about you go get your refund or, uh, shut up? If you don't like it, don't buy it. And then it turns out people don't want to fucking buy it. And then they blame gamers because no one wants their game. That is true. And um, Jay's face right there says it all. So, so far, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Jay's video seems to be nailing pretty, uh, pretty much everything on the head. Um, I don't care much for yeah. tagging out the live streams at the beginning of it. But I understand why, because I did the same thing myself, so I can't bitch <laughs> too much. But... No. Um, and I did kind of like the breast joke, although that that is kind of weird. You're just randomly touching yourself. You might want to go see a therapist. But let's continue with the video. Got a lot of goodwill because of the marketing and how they've handled the customers. And all of that goodwill that Arrowhead has built up, Sony has literally ruined overnight. As of May 6th, all new players for Helldivers 2 on PC will have to connect a PSN account to be able to play the game. And if you're already a player on PC, on May 30th, you'll start to see the login request. Log into your PC or you're not gonna be able to play the game. And get this, and I'm reading this directly from the statement, on June 4th, if you do not have a PlayStation account attached to Helldivers 2 on PC, 
you will not be able to log into the game. Here's one thing I do want to bring up, just in case Arrowhead has nothing to do with this decision. I'm sure that they don't, but the CEO just went on Twitter literally right now and he basically said, listen, hey everyone, in regards to linking and the questions and all that crap, please refer to the PlayStation vlog, you know, where there's a customer service page and it says, if you have any further questions, you could reach out using the quote unquote contact PlayStation support at the bottom of the page. So, uh, yep, just pissed on all Which, that. That is funny because that just means that you have to create a PlayStation account to contact PlayStation. Just pissed all over that. Just wow. Uh, when I was watching Eight Big Eric's video about it, yeah. I was like, "Yeah, this uh, and this in the short term is gonna hurt the game, but in the long term, Sony's gonna make Sony, excuse me, is gonna make so much money." But seeing this, I think Arrowhead might be um, in some deep so, trouble if they can't get out of this. So I, I kind of thought it would have been better. If they said, hey, if you don't have a PSN account logged in on Steam, you will not have crossplay. That would make a lot more sense. That's what a lot of people have been saying. Even Eric has been saying that, like, why not just set it to where you get no crossplay? Because, like, that logically makes sense. Because why Sony obviously doesn't just want Microsoft or Steam accounts like that to just be able to hook up to their systems. But to completely well, block them out of the game, because there's some countries where PSN is not available, so you can't make a PlayStation Network account. So you're completely screwed. And yeah. if you lie about where you're from, you're even more screwed. Well, you could use a VPN to get around it, but like, especially if there's a country that has restrictions, VPNs really do wonders. Like. There are some shows that I can't watch that are only restricted to Australia. And I kind of like Sammy J and Randy. I mean, yeah. Uh, I totally was uh, waiting for you to say, like, shout out to ExpressVPN or something like that. I was going to say, ExpressVPN, the sponsor of the channel. Oh, I wish. (laughs) Rage Shadow Legends. Join today. And the sponsor of today's <laughs> game is Raid Shadow Legends. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. I don't like yeah, that game. There's no, no sponsors. We don't have sponsors. I'm not saying- also, I did play that game for like a month. And I hated it. Fair enough. Um, like, a lot of the fights are restricted behind a paywall. Like, you have to, like, literally buy a upgrades for your characters to move on or else you're just going to be grinding the entire thing all over again yeah i've never cared much for the games like that funny enough i'm actually using a vpn but not the vpn you're thinking of apple recently with their apple plus for their uh, icloud accounts they now offer what's called icloud relay and it's basically a vpn but what it does is it picks your data up and it runs it through their servers so instead of pinging your ip address it actually pings their ip address it's really cool no i just love pinging random ip addresses Uh, no but uh fuck raid shadow legends yeah i kind of have to agree let's continue Essentially we're, we're throwing get Sony under them. the bus saying, no. yeah, we have nothing to do with it. Contact Sony. Now, this update makes it very interesting because Arrowhead's essentially come out now saying that it's Sony's fault that this is happening. Contact them if you have issues. So I'm kind of wondering how you guys feel about Arrowhead after this major announcement. Are you going to continue to play the game on PC and sign into your PSN? Or are you going to just say this isn't a big deal? Who cares? I already have a PSN, so why wouldn't I sign in? Or are you going to completely stop playing the game? Let me know in the comments down below. My personal take about the situation is that I find it absolutely insane. These major corporations that, Uh you know, we all put our trust into with our credit card information, our home addresses, our phone numbers have been hacked so many times in the past. So in that regard, how many PC players who 
want nothing to do with PlayStation, and I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of them, yeah. do not want to give PlayStation also, I'm not Italian all um, the time. Um, uh, yeah, I got um, you. Who here remembers the Lizard Squad? Oh, uh, man, that sounds familiar. So, back when I was in high school, Lizard Squad hacked Sony for m at least a month minimum. And after that, Sony started thinking about doing a round of clock, like a server, like maintenance, like Microsoft did. And then they started charging for PSN online. Um, uh, so that they would have round of a clock team working all the servers, but they were doing what Microsoft has done for multiple years. Uh, that's true, and I um, I can recall the 2014 hacking by the Lazarus Group, who all remembers that hack. Uh, that was. Uh, oh, I remember that. Yeah, it's um. I can understand, and like, and some of the, I'll look at it from like an Apple user point of view. I couldn't imagine that I went on Steam and I bought the game, and let's say I used uh, Apple's third party, uh, excuse me, first party software, the game porting tool with Steam, and was playing Hell Divers, and now I got to hook up another account on top of the hooking up accounts. Oh no! You have to now pay a subscription. For something they should have been doing anyways. Yeah, on top of all of that, I got to pay a subscription to get the Plus, so that way I can hook up the account to it, so I can play the game that I've already paid for, so you can sell my data and make even more money over the top of me? Yeah, no. I'm going to have to say no to that. That's going to be a big fat Which, F you. Well, a lot of people love Sony because they had free online Compared to the Xbox 360 and oh, the PS3. Uh, but the PS3, yeah, no, for like over a month, if you tried to log in, it would just randomly crash and you couldn't play any games like Call of Duty or anything. Oh, yeah. I well, you could that. play the campaign, but you couldn't go online. And then literally just, oh, shit, you're out of luck. You can't do shit. But then Microsoft, they had a 24-hour tech crew on standby that's why they didn't get hacked as bad as sony did then also microsoft like google is an antivirus corporation like they they go and hunt down their they yeah. go and hunt down threat actors well but even still when uh sony and playstation decided to uh start charging people they still kept getting hacked and it still kept crashing servers. Well, that is true. And uh, look at look at the look at the face. Look at look at the face right there. That is hilarious. Look at him. Mamma mia! Why does my hair look strawberry blonde? <laughs> oh, you can look at the hairline. You can actually see the hairline right there. If you like, if you look right there, you can see the hairline. Take off the hat, Jay. Yeah. Hashtag take the off. Off. Hashtag take <laughs> off that, Jay. Oh, my Lord. So, so far, I'm liking the video. And that, that, that's going to be the thumbnail right I there. Am. That is going to be the thumbnail right there. I'm liking the video, too. Um, because, like, he's actually bringing up concerns that a lot of people might have. And he's but, not passing Sony off and pretending like Sony's better than Microsoft. So, see? Well, so, uh, I feel like... He could actually rip into Sony more. Well, like, instead true. of just being passive, he could actually just rip into them a little bit more. Like, why the hell would they do this? Well, to be fair, there is still about a minute or so left of the video. So, and we just paused it right when he started up the rant. So, for all we know, he may tear into Sony in the last few seconds and then finish off the video with a go join me in the live stream or whatever. So let's yeah. continue. Please you don't like and give subscribe. All of their information. And now they're being forced into doing it by PlayStation to continue playing a game that they've known and loved and they've been playing for the last couple of months. So I think it's absolutely insane these corporations who are massive, who have been hacked so many times in the past, can just change 
the rules. Hey, you've been playing for so long. Yeah, remember you didn't have to sign in. You got to do it now. We want all of your info. You got to make a PlayStation account. How do you feel about Arrowhead and Sony me to, introducing? Uh... This does bring me to the whole Bungie discussion when Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 came out. Of Yeah, no, people played these games, they kind of loved them, and then they turned them into shit. Oh, that is true. Like Destiny 1, I didn't like the live service part with the MMO kind of deal. And then, like, uh, they would have, like, every week, they have, like, this gun you can get if you get certain materials. But then so many people were getting that gun. The next week they updated it. They updated it to where they're like, "Oh, by the way, you have to get these materials now, also, just to make it harder to get it." Oh yeah, I, I just I've never quite understood that. It's like it's the reason why I kept I quit playing. Um, what was it? Minecraft, because I just I got tired no. of like oh I got to get this whole new thing to go battle this boss. I'm like you serious, and then the boss is like unkillable unless I get like the certain armor that takes forever to get. It's like really, like why even bother wow. at that point? Yeah, no, just it's you're changing your game and just yeah, it just makes it terrible. Well, yeah, let's um, watch this video because I'm curious to see how he uh, ends this. And uh, oh my yeah, god, look at that see face. If he rips Sony a new asshole. Uh, I doubt it, but we will see. The PlayStation Network back into Helldivers 2 and really forcing you to do it because after you know June 4th, you're not playing on PC unless you have a PlayStation account attached to your account on PC. Did I say that right? Anyways, I'm streaming right now. Come watch the live show. I'm live. Let's go. We'll do it live. We won't do that live. Usually I like to videotape and put it on a very special website. Yeah. That's that's a secret. You guys don't know. Now you yeah, he gets rammed in the ass on OnlyFans. I suppose I have no clue, and that was the weirdest ending I've ever seen to yeah. Like, yeah. seriously, you're gonna now promote that you have OnlyFans? Even A Big Eric doesn't actually promote his. Uh, like, he did on one post on Twitter, and that was it. Uh, it was for the uh, Dick Gate. Yeah, it was an entire joke. With that, I have no clue if he's actually trying to yeah. sell a joke or not. It just seemed weird to me. No, but I bet it's him. just like one picture of him. Probably. I haven't checked. But anyhow. Overall, I think the video was pretty good. Um, I do have to agree with your criticism. I think that the... Um, I think it could have... Honestly, I would have liked the video to have been a little bit longer. Maybe hit about the 10-minute mark. And, and just a little of, bit more aggressive. Yeah, and add just a little harder on Sony. And be like, Sony, what the hell? Why are you doing this to us? We've supported you all this time. We paid all this money, and now you're going to screw us over? Really? And Microsoft, and, and especially Ver, really? And Microsoft Valve is just allowing you to get away with it? Well, no, he wow. loves Unbelievable. when Microsoft fucks up because he actually tears them a new one. But when it comes to Sony, that's the problem. He kind of just, like, sugarcoats it a little bit. Yeah, it kind of just uh, he fiddle diddles a little too much for my taste. But so over. So we're doing this new scale that I've been wanting to implement for a little bit now. So we're going to bring up the soundboard. And Ooh. what we're going to do is here, if you... So if you think that the video is great, um, uh, you'll use the air horn. And if you don't think the video is great, or if you think it's trash, epic or trash, like the name of the series, you'll hit the sand horn. So for you, Sheriff, I'm going to... Not Sheriff... Oh, uh, for Sheriff, I will hit the sad horn. Because he's not here, unfortunately. I hit the so you're going to give it a meh. I give it crickets. Like, he could have done a so lot a more myth. than what he did. Yeah, I'm going to also... I'm also going to have to give it the crickets. Um, So, that is what it is there. Uh, It's not epic, but it's not trashy. Maybe, it's yeah. right in the middle. Maybe this one. Just a little golf yeah, clap. Uh, and uh, he's feeling very 
Quackies. <laughs> Quit quacking around. In my opinion. He's a little bit quacker. So anyhow. Oh, Lord. So anyhow, that is the end of the video, guys. I appreciate you guys coming back and seeing the comeback for JKB. I'm glad this content's getting better by a new microphone. Anyhow, with that all being said, I appreciate you guys watching the video all the way to the end. A special thank you to the Detective Irish for joining me. And once again... Hashtag take the hat off, Jay. <laughs> this has been AJ Timms inside the Den of Timms. I hope you have a great night, everyone. Or a great morning if you happen to be watching this video. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>